Philip Maher. I'm the president of the European Obstacle Sports Federation. The federation is made up of over 21 countries from around Europe. Uh, they're national federations working together to help develop the sport in Europe and we also work obviously in collaboration with World OCR. The athletes this weekend can expect a very tough course. The Saturday course is going to be a very technical course to really show who the best racers in this sport are. Hi, I'm Mike Halgos. I'm representing the Netherlands. And we are from Italy, from the Czech Republic. Mi nombre es Daniel Blanco. Mi nombre es Ana de Miguel González. Y venimos representando a España. Norway. Uh, my expectations for this race are uh, to complete it, I hope with a wristband, but uh, I think if you've seen the obstacles, it's going to be hard, but I'm going to try it, that's the most important part. I made my registration one day before I saw a video of this last part of Dominator and I knew that uh, this, is, this will be finished for me. The most excited, I think the, the obstacles, excited part and the hardest part. With the European Obstacle Sports Federation and World OCR, we're looking to develop the sport to bring standardization to rules and regulations for the safety of the athlete. We are very athlete driven. We want to make the athlete's experience at events safe, competitive, but fair, and to illustrate the good sportsmanship that we hope to see this weekend. This weekend uh, was amazing. I think the last uh, four kilometers were very, very hard for uh, grip strength and uh, for the all the arms. An obstacle race, back in the day, it was something that showed you your fear. So you'd get cold, you'd go into confined spaces, you might get shot by electricity, and you'd face up to your fears and you'd conquer them and you'd survive, and then you'd get a massive feeling of gratitude. You just get this great feeling of, I, I did that. I was afraid, but I did it. Whereas now we're looking at more of like a racing aspect and you need to have some more rules and some timing and some different things like that. So it's more now something that tests, in my opinion, every part of how a human evolved to be. So we evolved to be strong, fast, have a good grit, have a good flexibility, um, agility and all of these things need to be tested in obstacle race. It's testing the human body as to how the human body evolved to be. I think the perfect obstacle race will really test the perfect human being to how the human really evolved and how we were meant to be living our lives. At the conclusion of this weekend's events, we will gather feedback from all the national federations, from the individual athletes and from spectators on the events as well as the course. So we don't want to just put on a, a good race, we want to put on a whole event. And we want to make sure that the obstacles, the course, the terrain and the whole experience is to the benefit of all athletes. It's always very challenging at championships, so it's a good uh, way to see where you stand. This is really nice venue and uh, many friends from other countries. The OCR community is just so open and welcoming. It's just a good feeling and it's always fun to cross the finish line and even get to finish a medal. I think someone said by the time I was coming back into the stadium like a, a minute lead then I started working through the technical obstacles and got to the very last obstacle. Dropped onto the ground just went to walk over the line and found out that I'd messed up and I was meant to stop reeling a rope and then swing over a line and then walk over the line. I didn't know he was uh, he stepped down from, from the 
but it wouldn't have been the first time. So then I pretty hastily ran back to the beginning of the, ob uh, the obstacle where uh, someone else turned up. <laughs> so I'm walking back. I was like, uh, what's, what's happened? And uh, we got together, neck and neck, on the, on the monkey bars. He executed the obstacle far better than I did uh, and got over the line half a second before me. I was pretty like quick in saying that whoever crossed the line first should win. Um, but after some discussion throughout the day, Thibault yeah, came up with a session that we should share the podium. It's an amazing thing to, to race against uh, John. It's, uh, it's a privilege to be with him uh, at the last seconds. It's, uh, I can't describe it, it's really it's, it's awesome. The best thing for me when people are crossing the finish line is the excitement, the tears, the emotion. A lot of these athletes have been training for years. Some of them are coming up off serious injuries that they've been told they might walk again, they might be able to do this sport. They've shown commitment and drive to push and push and push. And they're going to be here showing everyone that they can do this sport.